An operation to recover victims of a volcanic eruption which killed at least six people in New Zealand has been delayed amid fears of worsening conditions. Monitoring agency GeoNet said further eruptions on White Island were likely, adding that the level of volcanic tremor has significantly increased. Six people have been confirmed dead following the eruption, while two British women are believed to be among the 30 people in hospital, with all but five in a stable but serious condition. Police said it was too dangerous to return to the island at the moment owing to the serious physical and chemical hazards rescuers would face. Meanwhile, the British High Commission in New Zealand has urged Britons travelling in the country to contact their family and friends to let them know they are safe. It comes as Police released a partial list of those missing, including seven Australians and two New Zealanders. New Zealand's Civil Defence Ministry said it was absolutely imperative to retrieve the bodies, but the prevention of further human harm must be taken into account. Chief Coroner Judge Deborah Marshall has declared the White Island eruption a mass fatality incident and said it could be some weeks before all the deceased are identified. The first Australian victims of the eruption have been named by a family friend as Julie Richards, 47, and her 20-year-old daughter Jessica. On Wednesday evening local time, police named seven Australians and two citizens of New Zealand as being listed as missing. Those listed were Australians Gavin Dallow, Jessica Edwards, Crystal Browett, Richard Elza, Zoe Hosking, Carla Matthews, and Julie Richards. The two New Zealanders were Tipen Amangi and Hayden Inman. Police said it was not a complete list of missing people as officers have not yet spoken to all next of kin. County's Manukau District Health Board's Chief Medical Officer Dr Peter Watson told reporters that 22 patients were on airway support due to the severity of their burns and other injuries. He added that supplies, including an additional 1.2 million square centimetres of skin, would be needed to meet patient demand and will be ordered from the United States. This is equivalent size to a fifth of a penalty area on a football pitch. The nature of the burn suffered is complicated by the gases and chemicals in the eruption. Dr. John Kenyally, Clinical Director of Surgery and Perioperative Services at the National Burns Unit, said the situation was certainly unprecedented, adding that some patients have up to 95% burns. The alert level of a further eruption is at 3, on a scale of 1 to 5. Graham Leonard, of the Institute of Geological and Nuclear Sciences, said conditions on the island are worsening. He added, there are two key risks, on th for more on this story, visit the news article link.